So Dr. Hatut, um, as somebody who spent time growing up in the Middle East and, and predominantly Islamic culture, um, there, there was always known that there were very stringent rules in Islam about um, alcohol and drinking. Actually, it's written specifically that, you know, drinking strong drink. And, um, but I found that other, abusing other substances was looked at as uh, halal or okay, you know, like that's not written. So School. technically, what, what, is, what is the real, the real Islamic position on, on those substance abuse and alcohol also specifically? Okay, allow me to be, to be esoteric a little bit. The mm -hmm. word khamr, which is liquor. Mm -hmm. The word itself means cover. And this is why this yeah. is the khamar. Mm -hmm. Anything that covers your brain, deprives your brain from its full potential. Mm -hmm. Being, brain being probably the best gift that God gave you, to cover it is, is not acceptable. You cover it with alcohol, you cover it with superstition, you cover mm -hmm. it with hashish or marijuana or whatever. And of course, not all the drugs have the same effects. But nonetheless, the principle itself is not acceptable. The brain is to be maintained, to, to be sharpened, to be liberated, to be creative. We, we, never, we never hate a wrongdoer. Mm -hmm. We hate the wrong yeah, the action. that is done. Yeah. Yeah. So that means entire abstinence is called for or moderation? Entire abstinence. Mm. Because the line of moderation is a subjective line. Right. Mm -hmm. And all those addicts that you see in the streets or in jails, started by moderation. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, started by experimentation. Mm -hmm. I'm just experimenting because as I expressed my grievances for the years I spent with the youth, they will <laughs> tell you, uh, you know what, I have to try it myself. Mm -hmm. And then judge. <clears throat> to, and then mm -hmm. make my own free judgment as you always talking about freedom, etc. <clears throat> I don't think that anybody can try cyanide to see whether yeah. it mm -hmm. kills or not. Uh, this is a false, a false argument. And the, the difference between human beings and animals in the circus is that human beings learn f from the experiences of others. Mm. Uh, but mm. animals, you have to train each animal alone. You will not train uh, a bear to ride a bicycle and the other bird sitting there we'll will get, we'll, we'll get it. <laughs> no, exactly. you have to finish with that one, get this one, and so on. Mm -hmm. So this is calling for being animals in a circus. Mm -hmm. No, I am a human being, and I'm not dumb. Mm -hmm. I see what happened to this guy. I don't want to have the same fate, so mm -hmm. I will not do what led him to that. What about in medicinal cases? Medicine is an exception, of course. Mm -hmm. All things in Islam counts on the intention. Mm -hmm. Am I intending to have a high or am I really have that kind of cough mm -hmm. that will not stop except by using a medicine that contains alcohol? Mm -hmm. There is no problem with But that. if a Muslim does drink, he doesn't strip him of his, no, his no. Muslimness. He's a drunk Muslim. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's it. He's labeled as a drunk yeah. Muslim. Yeah. Yeah. We move on. Yeah. Yeah.